Welcome to Lancaster General Hospital. The site of this month's exhibit entitled Silent Witness. Four week period of time where untold tens of millions of dollars of your taxpayer money are spent for the sole and explicit purpose of demonstrating that men are attacking women and children in their families. The Violence Month was a beautiful concept to highlight the fact that there is domestic violence occurring in the households of America, and it had previously been hidden. Unfortunately, it has been hijacked by the feminist agenda for the purposes of attacking men and setting themselves into positions of power, prestige, and monetary gain. But what I want to see today is the level of equity and fairness in the exhibit. Just how many men will be the perpetrators and women and children the victims, and will they have representation for the men who are falsely accused? Every year, one million innocent Americans are falsely accused of domestic violence, like Cheryl Hutter of Colorado, who hasn't been allowed to see her granddaughter for two years thanks to a false allegation against her son, and Ben Vonderheide of Pennsylvania, who was accused of partner abuse 40 times. The court found him innocent on all charges, but the damage to his children will take years to mend. Only 5% of victims of domestic violence are men abused by women. But of course, it was his father who initiated it. And the children. I want daddy to stop hurting mommy. Why are we seeing all of these false accusations? Because under our current laws, people accused of domestic violence are presumed guilty before they even enter the courthouse. The Violence Against Women Act was written by Senator Joe Biden and passed into law by Republicans and Democrats. This law has now become another out of control federal program. The Violence Against Women Act needs to be fixed. Tell your elected officials to put a stop to the false accusations. This message, a service of radar. Yes, sir. Uh, what exactly are you uh, filming for? I'm with Daddy Justice Films. Who are you, sir? I'm security of the hospital. Okay. No, I've I've seen this all over TV. Is there a problem? No, we just have people seeing you with your camera, so they they're, they're Yeah, well, out. I would like to know. I'd like to speak with someone from the hospital. Okay. Because um, I don't see the uh, LePay children represented here, and I don't see. The PIA. The PIA. She murdered her children, but they let her go. Because it seems a little The PIA. Yes. They only. The PIA. Men are abusing women. She murdered her children, but they let her go. Thank you, sir. We have two little children that were murdered by their mother. Where are they? And I also don't see a representation for the fathers who are falsely accused of sexually molesting their own children and of abuse for the purpose of gaining custody advantage. And those are another set of victims which aren't represented. So I saw this on Channel 21. I'm doing a documentary, and I thought I'd come out and see if I could get someone to answer those issues. Because this is a completely, the only guy you've got is a victim there. It's his father's fault that he was abusing, you know, he, he says that when he was a kid, his father abused his mother. So, I mean, this is all... Are you taping right now? Yes, I am. Can you turn that off just for now until we find out what's going on? Well, no, I don't want to do that because I've been falsely accused and I don't want to be falsely accused again. I am a victim of, of domestic violence and false accusations uh, for many years. And uh, I'm here. You had Channel 21 here. You had the other TV people here. Are you telling me that they're allowed to film and I'm not? I haven't told you anything. Okay, well. The only reason why I, I approached you was I had people ask me why there's someone in the hallway yes, you've been very professional, filming themselves. Yes, and I thank you. And I've explained that. And, uh, and very much so. I'd really like someone from the hospital who well, stood up and spoke on behalf of this I don't know group. if I'll be able to get somebody. Yeah, because um, this is imbalanced. And these people are raising money for their own organizations. The YWCA gets a lot of money from VAWA. 
And here they are using your hospital to trumpet an unfair, imbalanced representation of the facts. In fact, women do murder their own children. That's, that's fine, we understand. Yes. Yeah. Well, did you try making an appointment with anybody, talking to anybody? Because, I, I don't, I, like you said, we don't know if we'll be able to get anybody, but it's better to come up with an appointment if you want to talk to someone. No, they, uh, they likely would, will, not, will not talk to me. Because they're, the other thing that's a problem is the woman that works at the YWCA works here also. The woman who's in charge of the YWCA, the, I think she's the director, she's quoted in the paper as saying, I will never again blame a woman for her own actions. That's what she said. And she works here as your public relations department, I believe. So, you know, what's, what's going on? Are you guys here to try to help the YWCA raise money by representing? I know you're not intentionally doing that, but I need to point out to someone that you have a very imbalanced representation here. And it has been represented as you are behind it, the General Hospital. And you've got a connection to the YWCA who is profiting from representing that it's only men attacking women. And that this is un unconscionable that you would do this. Where are the silent, invisible father victims of false accusations? Where are they? I don't know, sir. I Eight out of ten of these fall of PFAs are, are by police themselves will tell you are false We're accusations against the father. We're not disagreeing with you here. So We're see if you can get somebody to, who's a representative right, of the we'll hospital or the YWCA. And if not today, let me know when they would be here. I'd love to speak to someone. Because this is horrendous, that you would be behind this misrepresentation and this outright attempt to get tax money focused through the YWCA and to get their feminist agenda, which is really what this is. This is not balance. Well, actually, right this is the a feminist representation of the, of side, the facts, sir. certainly. Thank you. All right, well, let's, let us make a phone call yeah, here sure, real quick. Sure. And if you just want to wait right here, yes. we'll get right back to you. No problem. As you heard me tell him, I, I'm absolutely offended as a victim of domestic violence by false accusations, which has cost me everything. It's taken my son from me, and it's cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend myself, and I'm not represented here. Neither are the LePay children. Where are the two little LePay children who were murdered by their mother in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania? The mother beat the charges by reason of insanity, then went back and was able to eliminate necessary, uh, the court ordering her to get therapy. So here's a mother who murdered her own children and was given a free pass. Weren't her children victims? Was, wasn't their father and grandparents the, the father of those murdered children? Isn't he a victim of domestic violence? Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Ignored, obliterated, made a mockery of. Who are the real abusers? The YWCA, the people who put these things on, help perpetrate false accusations through PFAs upon thousands and thousands of men throughout the last 20 years in Lancaster County. We followed case by case, you've seen it. The woman wants an advantage in a custody situation. So what does she do? She files a false PFA and she comes in here to the VAWA people. The people that are making $550 million a year directly for the VAWA, another 400 plus million for services associated with it. And they do that by continuing to represent these falsities and they get people like this general hospital. I'm gonna need you to turn the camera off. Well, if, I, if you're gonna say that, I gotta leave because I'm not gonna stay here and get- and That's be, fine. Maybe falsely accused, unless you have cameras here filming this? We have cameras everywhere. We have cameras everywhere. So All right, unless you have- You just can't tape it. Well, you, okay. my supervisor's gonna come over and he can talk to you. But um, yeah, unless so I don't, you I don't want to stay around and get accused of doing something I didn't do. We're not accusing you of anything. I know you haven't, but there are but people that... Get, am I right or am I wrong? You were filming within the hospital premise, right? Absolutely. You were just filming yourself Absolutely. and interviewing? I came right to where Channel 21 came. It did the, okay. You guys invited the press in here to represent, to do this, right? But did they, did they have prior consent to someone? You don't know that, do you? I don't know, but they exactly. invited someone in here. And I imagine they had prior consent to someone that was in our administration. Well, if you're asking me, if you're telling me you don't want me to film, then I'm going to leave because I don't want to be... Well, uh, no, you can stay and you can talk to my supervisor. Well, I'm filming now. I'm not going to turn off the camera unless I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to turn off the camera while I'm staying here because I want to record everything that occurs to protect myself. Okay. So if you want me to turn the camera off, I'll leave. the camera on yourself. Nobody else. Oh, okay. You can't have it on any employees. Nobody. So whatever. Until he gets up here, that's fine. Okay. But when he gets up here, then he can be able to... Hi. Hi, everybody. It's Ben, Daddy Justice, keeping the camera on myself. The folks running the false accusation factories are guaranteed employment as fast as they can accuse. The more they can accuse, the more money they gonna come and get from you. When you gonna wake up? When you gonna